told you we get some crazy spiders. Man, it is time for the spiders. How's it going, guys and girls? Here we are. Yeah, we're up. We're living. We're breathing. I'm showered. I'm cleaned up. There's a coffee made. It's all good. Andrea's gone out. And I'm left at home to my own devices. And yeah, man, just sort of been getting up, trying to get my head in the right frame of mind. Still a little bit sort of bummed out, ladies and gentlemen. But nevertheless, we're going to work as hard as we can to change that today. Not sure what we're going to do. Well, I know what we're going to do, but I'm not going to bore you with the details. You just have to watch and find out. nice to return a favour man, my neighbours are legend, so always bringing my bins in. So it's kind of nice to be at home, to be able to bring it in for it. Happy days. One little good thing done. So, so far this morning, it's already about like one o'clock. Andrew's still out. And I've just been chilling, watching videos, been trying to watch skirts, skirt skate, surf skate videos. Uh, watch the amazing Hob strip his school bus that he's bought. Strip all the seats out of it and everything, which is pretty cool. That looks like that's going to be one hell of an adventure. And what else have I done? Ah, watched Genesis Elijah live video, which was just epic. Started the day really well. <clears throat> just kind of nice, you know? Nice, good vibes. And uh, yeah, if you don't follow The Amazing Hob on YouTube, go and check him out. If you don't follow Genesis Elijah, go check him out on like Instagram. And uh, yeah, just good vibes, good people. Don't forget to wash your hands. Right, the next mission is a boring one. It's not too fun, but basically I cleaned that unit down the other day if you see that blog. Now I just want to kind of clean the area that it was in just to hope and try. Maybe just stop any mold coming back. Mildew, whatever you want to call it. Good times. The life of the Grom is amazing, right? Times. I'm gonna let that dry, get a unit back in there, and then line up all of my junk. And I'll tell you one thing, we got some junk, right? Fingers crossed, we don't get the mould back. Now to put all of this stuff somewhere. Good times. I think that's about right. Maybe a little bit tidier. Maybe a little bit. 
little bit more simple, a little bit nicer. I don't like that. Yeah. So nice. Yeah, it looks Halloween Grunty. spooky. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Maybe not so dark because it looks pretty dark. mode of transport would be my choice. Every time it's got to be the skateboard. I just wanted to take five minutes out and just get out of the house and go and broaden my horizons and see something different. Get to see some water and kind of discuss with you guys and almost sort of discuss out aloud so it clears it in my head. So you hear a lot of these terms about burnout and I've heard the, the, the term YouTube burnout for a long time and I've never wanted to believe in it. Then I read something the other day where they're just actually generally discussing burnout and it kind of, uh, yeah, dirty looking thing, that scooter. Um, so basically it's just this vicious circle that you find yourself in where there's work to be done. You know that you need to do it, but you also need to relax and you can't relax because you know that there's things to be done. And I've been suffering that really bad this week. So I know that there's stuff to be done. I just haven't got the energy to want to do it. I haven't got the brain power or the, the mental capacity to want to figure out what I've got to do with the stuff at hand. Then when I try to relax, I can't actually relax because I know that there's so much to do. And man, stressing me out. I think all in all, it's taken me about maybe four days of just trying to relax, to get back to grips of actually being able to just clock off and just chill out. I've got four days, four days to go and conquer all the stuff that I wanted to do. What is it they say? No time like the present, something like that. That was enjoyable. Got a little bit of a skating off camera. If only we live closer to the sea. I tell you ladies and gentlemen if you didn't think I knew what living the dream was you know now this Thursday is what half eight mm, sorry. yeah, yeah it's half eight best place in the world Tesco shopping don't worry I'm not gonna put you through it I'm hoping it's not gonna be too busy it doesn't look too bad fingers crossed anyway as always, thanks for tuning into a vlog. See you same time, same place tomorrow.